Everyone's just saying how heartbroken, outraged. The messages of goodwill from around the world just keep coming. Comfort to know that we're not fighting it on our own. We're a large family, but we're a regular, usual family in the UK. When we're not superhuman like anyone else. So the support means an awful lot. It's really, really heartwarming. Five straight away. Charlotte's son, Harry Dunn, was killed in a collision in August. It happened near RAF Croton in Northamptonshire, an American spy base. Police believe that the wife of a US diplomat drove out of the base on the wrong side of the road. Harry, who was on a motorbike, was hit head on. The woman claimed diplomatic immunity and Sky News understands that she was told by the US to leave the country. Diplomatic immunity belongs to the state itself. Uh, it's not for the individual either to claim it or to waive it. It's a matter for the United States government to decide whether or not the immunity applies and decide whether or not to waive it. Uh, and that, of course, will depend on how close the individual's work was to the core functions of a diplomatic mission. The Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, wants the US to reconsider their decision. He'll meet with Harry's family soon. In a statement, their local MP, Andrea Ledsom, said, This is an utter tragedy, and my heart goes out to the family and friends of Harry Dunn, who rightly want to get the justice he deserves. I have spoken to the Foreign Secretary and to Stephen Mould, the Northamptonshire Police and Crime Commissioner, who have promised to do everything they can to get justice done. The Shadow Minister for Security, Nick Thomas-Simmons, said, this is a horrendous situation for any parent. My thoughts are with Harry's friends and family at this terrible time. Nobody is above the law. I urge the government to work with the United States Embassy and do all that can be done to seek justice for Harry and his family. <laughs> and you just want to touch his face again. Harry's mum knows that it's being dealt with at the highest diplomatic level. She made this appeal to President Trump just to get him to put her on the plane. Sit back and look at the case fully if he hasn't yet done so. Sit back and look what's been left behind. Consider not just the politics side of it, but the fact that there's actually a completely broken family. The US says immunity is rarely waived, and such decisions are considered carefully, given the potential global impact. But this family intend to fight in the hope that someone with the power to do something will listen. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Northamptonshire.